look at that. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Fucking twat. Yeah, good work, I would have let him go as well. All this traffic, all this traffic, I love all this traffic All this traffic, all this traffic, I like seeing all the traffic Here we go And I go, dum dum, straight through the middle Show you look, son. Something that. Do you know? I love it when you get when you get times like that. And you just go straight through the middle of all the cars. Makes you want to turn around and go back and do it again, doesn't it? I could quite happily do it again. I could spend all morning there, all day. I could happily spend all day just cutting through the traffic, making them jealous because they're in their little four-wheel box. They're nice and warm, meanwhile I'm out here just cutting through all the traffic, missing all the waiting times. I got caught in it yesterday. Uh, I decided to take the car and head to the gym. And yesterday, I think I was sat in that for about 20 minutes. And as soon as I sat in the traffic, straight away I just thought, oh, shit, I wish I, uh, I wish I just got on my fucking motorbike. But no, I took the car, stupid thinking, I took the car. But I thought I'm not gonna do it today because more than likely that's gonna be that's gonna be bad again today. And little behold, woohoo, it was. As you probably heard, I had that one idiot who beeped at me because because I filtered. Because there was traffic, I filtered past cars. I looked round, there's enough room, I could get back in when the traffic was moving so I don't overtake anyone while they're moving moving. And he's obviously didn't like it and beeped. Something I didn't like when I was cycling. I'd cut through all the traffic. 
And then when the lights go, they get all the idiots that didn't like it, all close passing me, passing me close and dangerous, just because I went up the middle and then filtered back over to the left to let them all pass me again. So anyway, off to the gym again today. I've got all my uh, nutrition and stuff in. Uh, I ordered from Matrix Nutrition. I ordered some uh, protein oats and some flapjacks that I can have for snacks. So I've got some of them. I, I tried the triple chocolate one. Crikey, it was sickly. I think there was a bit there's a bit too much chocolate in that one. It was nice, but it was sickly. It just oh yeah, it's not called triple chocolate for nothing. I'll try the caramel one later today. But 48, 48 of them um, protein flapjacks. Uh, Matrix had them on offer for 30 quid. Can't let that down. So I've got some, um, I've got some protein porridge oats that I can have with a shake for uh, breakfast as well. Uh. Oh, oh, I keep doing that. Why do I keep putting it in blooming neutral? I probably do it if, if like this run here, this ride, I'm going off to the gym. Um, I will probably do it once on like a, a 20, 25 minute ride. Guaranteed, at least once. I will, I will go to put it up through the gears, go from first. Obviously, meant to bypass neutral, but I don't. I always put it in neutral. There's um, a motorbike garage, a uh, motorbike showroom, should I say, uh, where that car, well, where that car's turning, just on there on the left, just there, just there, ride on motorcycles. I stopped in there the other day, and that's where all the other bikes park. I want to have a look in there later. But I stopped in there the other day uh, because I'm looking at doing my full test. So um, I stopped in there the other day to have a look because I got um, an SV650. So I thought, well, I'll go in. I've, I wouldn't mind just just having a look. I've still only got a 125, so I'm not I'm not legally allowed to um, ride one. But I thought I'd stop in and look anyway. So I went in, I've had a look. And it wasn't there. So I don't know if someone if someone took it out for a test ride or or what, but it wasn't there. I, was, I, was, I wanted to see it. They had, um, they had a Harley in there. And it was absolutely stunning. Wow. Uh, one of my mates, he, um, he wants to get a bike, but he wants one of them sort of chopper style ones, but uh, the 125s. I think he was looking at a Chinese one. I can't remember. I can't remember the brand. Oh look! Didn't want to just sit behind me, did he? But anyway, yeah, I, he was looking at um, like a Chinese, a Chinese one. To be to be honest, it was quite nice. It looked bigger than. It looked bigger than. 125 um, now I'm, I'm not one for knowing much about bikes at the moment um, and purely because I had because I had uh, a few years of trying to persuade a certain someone for me to actually get a bike when she decided when she decided to say yes I didn't hesitate straight out got a bike and then the second second bit was right straight away motor log what was I saying? Yeah, but I was I was talking to someone else. He knows quite a bit about bikes. He was there. He was there with me and my mate. And um, I think he said it that might have been on a 250 frame. It was nice. It was a nice bike. It was kind of like um, a nice sort of uh, cherry red look. Um, I, I think it looked smart to be honest. I think it looked quite smart, and I bet it would have sounded pretty nice. Obviously not as nice as that Harley we saw him ride on. My mate, I think my mate was so excited he could have whipped his dick out and gave it a tug there and then. <laughs> but it was, it had all the um, the white walls. It had like a, the little number plate on the side. Uh, 
oh, it was, it was, I don't think you could do anything more to the bike. It was, I mean, it, it looked almost sort of showroom condition and some, someone had, someone had spent a lot of money getting that and looking after it. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, they, they sold it, or, or Rydon were trying to sell it, and I think they wanted 12, 9 something, just, just shy of 3 grand anyway, 13 grand. It's not my sort of bike, uh, I quite like the, um, I mean, my, my next bike, I'm not sure whether to go for a touring type bike, a bit more of an adventure touring, or sports bike. I'm having an R in yet. I quite like I quite like this because you're sat upright. But I've never sat. I mean, on my on my push bike because it was a road racing bike, whatever you want to call them. You were you were sat more forward. Whereas this, compared to the mount or the the bike world, would be more classed as as a, a hybrid. But. I quite, I quite liked on the um, on my push bike. I quite liked the fact that you sat forward. I didn't quite like the up upright. Hello. I didn't quite like the upright look, and I thought that maybe sitting forward to be could be a better option for me. But again, like I say, hopefully February comes. I'm going to do my full unrestricted, and I want to go out and get. I want to go out and aim for maybe 600 something something around there now I know it's not going to be an expensive bike I know it's going to be an old bike just purely because of the money I've got I mean this bike this bike here is is got fantastic mileage for what it is well, you're not so yeah as I was saying I mean the bike's done just under 6,000 this is 2010 Oh no, I think on the logbook it says 2011. But it's a template. However that works. But, uh... But yeah, I tell you, it's a cracking bike and I'm hoping that... I mean, I paid, I paid 1300 for this. And I'm hoping when it comes around to sell it, I should make either all or most, most of my money back. Now, if I make most of my money back, if I get like 12, 12 50, I'm happy with that because that's enough for a bike. Plus I've got a little bit extra to put in.